Hi and happy Easter. Uh, it's Sunday, Easter Sunday and I thought I'd do another bit of a couch coaching little segment for you. Um, it kind of seemed quite apt to do it today after a discussion I had with my eldest son the other day and it was a lot to do with beliefs and um, which was con conjured up through conversations he'd had at school and um, with his mates and whether he believed in the Tooth Fairy and believed in um, Father Christmas and um, and then obviously the Easter Bunny because that was that was coming up. So for me, um, I, I feel he's still old enough to have those beliefs. But if he finds out anything different, that's that's up to him. And but really, it was more about allowing hi allowing him to figure out things for himself. Um, and I just asked what he believed, and I, it brings up the idea of the importance of beliefs because beliefs are thoughts that we have um, become such a thing because we're having these thoughts over and over again. But the thing is with beliefs is that we, the importance of it is that we continue to believe even though we can't see things and, um, you know, things that are a bit tangible. And so for him with the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny and Father Christmas and he, he believes in all of that and I don't discourage it. I kind of encourage it because I think there's happy feelings that can be associated with it and that's obviously not for everyone um, and yes we were raised Christian and that doesn't matter what beliefs you have that's that's irrelevant kind of here but um, yes we we have the idea of Good Friday and Easter Sunday as a as a reason and purpose for Easter but um, that led me to asking him what he felt and what he believed was true and he felt that it, they were all true and that it wasn't necessarily um, you, know, you know that he had to go along with what the others were saying and I just said you know sometimes we need to believe things the hardest thing to do is to believe things that you can't see and um, that's for us with our jobs, for our um, careers, for our entrepreneurship, sometimes it's really hard because we can't always see the end result being achieved or the idea of what we have as success popping up because it can take time. But having that constant belief that it's going to happen is one of the strongest things that you can have. So even though you can't see it, so even though he can't see the Easter Bunny, um, he, he couldn't, can't see Father Christmas and he doesn't see the Tooth Fairy, he still has a belief. He sees some of the outcomes of what they are, but he still has a strong belief and it's probably smart for him to keep going because he gets that uh, deposit from the Tooth Fairy and some lovely Easter eggs from the Easter Bunny. and. Um, but at the same time, he believes Easter and and Christmas are, are for um, Christian reasons as well. But there's that lovely benefit of getting presents. So um, for his benefit, he continues to believe. He may have some doubts there, but I think that he's strong enough. And I think for us as entrepreneurs, you've got to be strong enough even when those doubts are there. Because we're all going to have some form of doubt. But keep that belief strong and you'll keep forging forwards and, and the end results and the, the little hints of success like the tooth in the cup become clearer and clearer until you get a whole pile of Christmas presents under a tree, one tooth to a big fat lot of Christmas presents. So that, um, that that's the end result and the proof for the success and I, I kind of hope that makes sense and I just felt that around this time of year and the and Everyone has different beliefs, um, religious beliefs, spirituality beliefs, um, but I do think that the most important thing is to to find what it is that you believe in and if it's your, um, your business that you're trying to grow because you know that it should be able to provide someone with some help or some value or um, help your family then you keep forging forward because strong enough belief becomes contagious and people want a part of that and so 
and you know keep going for it keep believing in yourself keep believing in what you're doing and um, I'll say farewell for Easter Sunday and um, I hope you've all had a really lovely weekend um, spending time with your family and not overindulging in too many chocolates um, mine had a lot for breakfast even though I'm not a big chocolate lover mine did enjoy the chocolates um, okay have a lovely night everyone and I will talk to you soon that's Deb Courtney over and out see ya